Weather plays a big role in hydrologic systems, so it is an essential part of field work to monitor climate data and weather patterns. The students in the hydrologic field methods class are getting ready to install a cluster of weather monitors in the Alum Creek area. The goal is to install six wireless monitors in a designated area around the Collin Club, which will electronically feed information back to a makeshift base station set up inside the club. This particular weather station sensor comes with solar-powered nodes that will record data on temperature, humidity, solar radiation, and barometric pressure. So everything gets like number one, two, three, four, and five. Each node has a number which should correspond to the selected sites to make for easier monitoring on the computer at the base station. And if not, you can open the echo. Now the class is ready to pick a location for their first weather monitor. They set out into an open field area past a small running irrigation creek near the Collin Club. Okay. The class begins to have second thoughts about this location. The problem is, they can't seem to get a signal from the base station. So it is decided to move to higher ground. The advantage of this higher location is that the class now has a line of sight with the base station. When setting up the monitor, the class studies their surroundings to make note of features such as vegetation, soil type, and slope aspect. It is also important that the location gets plenty of sunlight since the device is solar powered. That's kind of north. Now that the class has selected a site, it's time to get to work.